Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and now we're going to be uh, solving a problem that asks us to pick um, the two most appropriate words to finish a sentence. What we're trying to uh, test here is your knowledge of the vocabulary more than anything. Um, and they'll usually be worded in such a way that you might not actually see in real life so that we are certain that what you, uh, the skill that you're using here is your knowledge of the vocab words that are provided in the answer choices. So let's go ahead and go through why each of these works or does not work. So, the executive, appreciated for his magnetic personality, but criticized for his failed business ventures, attracted investors with blank, then made them believe his projects had blank. So let's go ahead and try the first answer choice here. Um, he attracted investors with savvy, that made them believe his project uh, projects had futility. So, <clears throat> if uh, the executive that has you know a magnetic personality. Uh, but it criticized for uh, his, but was criticized for his failed business ventures, uh, had some savvy. So if he was um, a person that was witty in the way that he did things, he would not have made people believe that their projects would be futile or that they wouldn't amount to anything. So this answer doesn't make much sense. For B, we have uh, corrosiveness and potential. So corrosiveness is something that eats away at something, um, whether that is trust or in a chemical reaction, um, some compound. So you wouldn't be using something that's corrosive to make, to make somebody believe that a project had potential um, because it, corrosive has a very negative connotation. So that doesn't make sense. Uh, the third option here, uh, that he attracted investors with infelicity that made them believe his projects had integrity. Again, infelicity is a negative, um, has a negative connotation, and infelicity is something that is not um, felicitous, it's not positive, that, that should not have happened. Um, and integrity is, uh, as I'm sure you know, something that um, is morally upright. So you wouldn't be using this option at all. Um, for the fourth one here, that he attracted investors with charisma, so a person uh, that has a magnetic personality would have would be charismatic. So that makes sense. A person um, that's outgoing and that's attractive as an individual that made them believe his projects had feasibility, uh, so that they were possible. That his projects were not actually uh, always failed business ventures, as he was often criticized for. This one makes sense. I mean, it's not something people would say. Um, but it makes more sense. Let's try this this last one. Um, attracted investors with steeliness that made them believe his project had probability. Um, a project doesn't really have... Well, you wouldn't describe a project as having probability and that there's a probability that anything might occur. Um, even a failed business venture had a probability that there was a low probability that it would not have failed. Um, and steeliness, again, is a negative thing. Um, cold is steel, a person that isn't uh, very approachable. And we're told that this person has a very magnetic personality, so this doesn't work out either. So the best option that we have here um, is D, charisma and feasibility. Uh, again, charisma meaning a person that's outgoing, that's likable, and feasibility being something that is uh, possible, that has a chance of actually happening. And that would be what a person that has uh, charismatic personality would be uh, trying to get people that want to invest in his projects to believe if he has, especially if he has been criticized with failed business ventures. Um, I hope that this helped with this problem and happy private.